Hello, welcome back to the woods. And as promised, in this video, we are gonna look at a few simple, tried and tested knots and hitches. As I said before, we carry cordage with us, which we use for life's little emergencies. But that cord is only really effective if we know how to use it properly. Now, an old friend of mine used to say years ago, if you can't tie knots, tie locks. But actually, all that leads to is wasted cordage and a lot of frustration. So by learning a few simple knots, it can save us a lot of time and cordage and frustration. It also gives us the peace of mind that once we've tied a knot, it's going to stay in place. Now what I'll try to do with all these knots is show both the left and the right handed way of tying them. The main reason for that being, well, I'm left handed. So all I'll do is I'll tie it and then I'll reflip the image in the edit so that you guys who are right handed, called devils, you get to see it done your way I think. So our first knot is a thumb knot or stopper knot. It's a very, very simple knot to tie. And it tends to be used on the ends of cords to stop them pulling through eyelets Think of like on your boot laces, but it's also used as a starter for several other knots that are going to be in this guide. So our second knot or hitch, and this one is a hitch, is a slippery hitch. And we use it to finish quite a few different knots. Anything where you might need to take it down in a hurry. So for example, you know, your ridge line on your tar or your, your guy lines that come out. Anything that you need to be able to undo quickly. And all we do is instead of passing the end of the line through your finishing loop, all we do is we pass a bite, a bend in the rope through. And that free end, when you pull on it, lets the whole of the knot or the hitch unravel. And we can use it in lots of different ways. The draw cords on a, on a uh, top of a rucksack, if you haven't got those neat little cord locks, you can easily do it using a little slippery hitch. So our next knot is the figure eight knot. And it's a knot that I use a lot. Anytime that I need a secure loop, either in the middle of a line uh, or at the end of a line, I tend to use the figure eight. Now, there's a couple of different ways of tying it. We can tie it as a single thread in the, in the end of a rope, and that makes a, a more bulky stopper knot. So it's, it's even better than the thumb knot for finishing a cord end off. We can also, you do it by doubling it, by putting a bite in the rope, so that you're doing a, a doubled length. And that gives you something you can put into the end of a rope that you can attach a carabiner to, such as your arm, for example. We can also do it as a re-thread. And the re-thread, we tie it on a single piece of rope, we then pass it through a loop or an eyelet. I tend to use it for the ends of lanyards, for things like whistles, pocket knives, those types of things. And you then reweave it through the original knot that you tied. And that gives you a very secure figure eight knot.
So our next one is a hitch and it's the timber hitch and it's well it was used originally in lumber and for that it's absolutely ideal. It's simple to tie, it's very very easy to undo and it's incredibly strong. It's ideal for if you're starting lashings off or I tend to use it if I've got to haul uh, a large piece of timber back to the can and what I tend to do is I start it off with a timber hitch uh, and I then do a pipe hitch up the rest and then that allows me to, to drag it. The one thing that you're assured is that it's not going to come off. So, our next knot, number five, is the jam knot. And the jam knot is something that was taught by Morse Kahansky, uh, Tom Roycraft, and it's a very, very useful and very, very simple knot. And it's one that can apply crushing force if you pull it tight enough. It's very, very useful in that we can use it temporarily so it can be used to hold things together for example tent pegs or anything that, that needs to be held together firmly but that can be released quite easily it can also be done as a locking knot in which case we pull it really really tight and we then put an extra loop in just to lock it in place and it's a knot that I'd used for years and years and years before I knew it as a jam knot as a, a trainee chef years ago it was the knot that we used to use for tying off meat. So if I was tying up a, a leg of lamb or a belly of pork, that was the knot that we were taught to use. Little did I know that it was a bushcrafter's favourite. But it is an incredibly useful and incredibly simple knot that actually not only holds securely, but if you're using it to hold two bits of wood together, it uses way less cordage than a traditional lashing. So it's an excellent, excellent knot to know.
My next knot is the constrictor knot. It has many of the same applications as the jam knot, but this one holds even firmer and it can be used for applying an awful lot more pressure. It's very useful for lashing two pieces of wood together or perhaps where you need to hold something together in a, a vice-like grip. It's a very simple knot and it's a highly, highly effective knot. So our last two knots are both knots that we use for joining ropes together, cord together. Our first one is something called the sheet bend. The sheet bend is very, very simple. It ties easily. You can set it up as a, a slippery sheet bend as well. So if you need to have an application where you need to be able to separate the two bits of cord quickly, it's absolutely ideal. Its big advantage is it holds well if you've got cordages of two different diameters. So for example, if I was using a, a 10 or a 12 mil climbing rope and I wanted to attach some paracord to it, this knot will do it easily. Also, if I'm using my Moore's scarf as a hammock, I can attach 550 cord around one end of my um, Moore's scarf and that will very quickly and very securely give me my hammock and it will hold fast.
And our last knot, very, very simple one, and it's the fisherman's knot. And it's a good knot joining two ropes together, or two pieces of cord together, but it's also a very good one for forming loops because you, you tie the two ends of the rope together. A lot of canoeists use it uh, on the, the loop on the front of their canoes for dragging it out of the water. Similarly, climbers use it quite often on, on their, their protection, their, their bolts, etc because it holds nice and securely and it's easy to tie. And all it is, is two thumb knots. So it's a really nice, simple knot to tie. So there you go, that's my, my little guide to simple knots. There will be a couple of others further down the line in the series, which I think are, would be useful for you to know. But those basic eights will get you started and they will cover most bases for most things that you need out in the woods. As I said, it's gonna save you cordage, save you effort, and it gives you that bit of peace of mind. If you wanna go building a bush ladder or attaching yourself to a tree to lower yourself down a slope, it helps if you've got the right knot. And in that little batch of eight, there's something for almost every occasion. Right, so there you go. That's our guide to a few simple basic knots that will cover you for most occasions. If you enjoyed this video, then remember to give it a huge, huge thumbs up. There you go huge thumbs up, plenty of enthusiasm. You can always follow us over on Instagram and Facebook. The link is in the description box down below. Oh, I think that's everything. Oh, you can also pop in and look at our Etsy shop. There's nothing in there at the moment other than a couple of badges which are due to be restocked. And I've just started making up a load of new stocks. Keep your eye on the channel, keep your eye on the shop. Might sound a ch stand a chance of getting in with some of the new stuff. But I've been Neil, this is Hazel, and until next time, stay safe. <laughs>